Welcome back everyone to CoinMarketCap. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at AI and we're gonna be seeing if it's a threat to crypto and blockchain or an opportunity. Let's get started. From fighting biases to catching scammers, artificial intelligence and decentralized blockchains can help each other overcome their biggest failings. ChatGPT has amassed 100 million users in just two months, with people asking it to do everything from writing computer code and homework assignments to answering questions they once Googled. And its developer, OpenAI, is about to amass $10 billion from Microsoft, which is hoping that the natural language artificial intelligence can help it achieve its long-held goal of making Bing a verb, which led Google to to announce its opening Bard, its own AI chatbot, to a group of trusted testers before a wider rollout in the coming weeks. With AI already having taken the next big thing title from crypto, artificial general intelligence, or AGI, like ChatGPT and Bard, that are designed to mimic human intelligence in order to solve intellectual tasks are being touted as a way to make crypto simpler, safer, and more efficient. And it's said that they can identify fraud and market manipulation by sifting vast amounts of data for patterns and anomalies. But AGIs can use those same capabilities to come up with trading strategies that match a trader's goal and also risk tolerance without actually making them have to learn about using derivatives or reading candle charts. More broadly, the Google CEO described Bard as an outlet for creativity and a launch pad for curiosity, helping you to explain new discoveries from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine-year-old or learn more about the best strikers in football right now, and then get drills to build your skills. So that said, the reality is that OpenAI, Google, and other makers of artificial intelligence still have some very big problems to solve, and it's very clear that the blockchain technology behind cryptocurrency and Web3 can help. So first of all, beware of biases. The most notable problem is that biases like racism, sexism, and many others are built into AIs that are developed through deep learning, which is basically scraping up vast amounts of quantities of information from which AIs can learn. Like many other AIs, getting the 570 gigabytes of written data that OpenAI needed to make ChatGPT work, as well as it does, inevitably require turning to the internet and all of it to get a large enough data set to work from. Beyond that, as deep learning is effectively learning from the past and then adjusting as new information arrives, pulling built-in societal and also historical biases out of AI is difficult. Several years ago, Amazon famously pulled its recruitment AI after it was found to be discriminating against female candidates. The problem was the examples of successful resumes that it was fed reflected the male-dominated industry's existing lack of diversity. In November, Amazon was revealed to be working on a new one that it believes can also overcome such biases. In another case, an AI used in predicting criminal recidivism rates at sentencing was accused of incorrectly labeling black defendants as probable reoffenders at twice the rate it did white defendants. And a 2016 ProPublica study said white defendants were wrongfully labeled as low risk at roughly the same rate. The developer disputed the findings and the courts upheld AI's use in sentencing. Nonetheless, the assumptions and data used in creating this type of algorithm are often a secret. A 2021 article by the highly respected federal judge Jed Rakoff stated, which means those biases are a lot harder harder to spot, and then only by looking at the AI's results after the fact. Pitchai, the CEO of Google, highlighted the concern, saying it was important to be both bold and responsible. He pointed to Google's now five-year-old AI principles. These note that AI algorithms and datasets can reflect, reinforce, or reduce unfair biases. While saying that distinguishing between fair and unfair bias is difficult, it promises to try to avoid unjust impacts on people, particularly those related to sensitive characteristics such as race, ethnicity, gender, nationality, income, sexual orientation, ability, and political or religious belief. Trust and accuracy. Blockchain won't solve garbage in, garbage out problems, but it would make them visible. AIs running on an open and decentralized blockchain could provide accountability and transparency, showing both the data used to create AI algorithms and the results they come up with, protected on an open and immutable blockchain. Blockchain and AI are the perfect match because each can address the other's weaknesses. Sharon Yang, a product strategist for AI and machine learning, wrote in a blog post, blockchain provides the trust, privacy, and accountability to AI, while AI provides 
besides the scalability, efficiency, and security. She said, to trust AI, we must be able to explain how the AI algorithms work for humans to understand it and have confidence in the accuracy of AI outputs and results. Using blockchain can also enhance data security and integrity by storing and distributing AI with a built-in audit trail in the blockchain. Having this audit trail ensures that the data being used to train models along with the models themselves keep their integrity. Blockchain and AI have a symbiotic relationship, said Jerry Cuomo, IBM's CTO for technology, who ran both its AI automation and blockchain divisions. They both reinforce each other. In a video, Cuomo recalled visiting a doctor for a painful knee. After running his symptoms and other medications through a pharmaceutical AI, it recommended switching to a newer blood pressure medication rather than something more invasive. So he added, while I was thrilled at the point, I started to think, how could I, and in fact, why should I trust that AI system and who trained it? And where did the model come from? Whether he can trust it or not is the responsibility of the AI developer, which has to build a model that is free of biases and faulty data. Whether he should requires transparency. He said, the way I look at it is blockchain brings trust to data. AI feeds on data. On the other hand, AI brings intelligence to data. Blockchain has ledgers that contain data. With trust and intelligence, you have confidence. With confidence, you gain adoption. While OpenAI has been aggressive about building in guardrails, it hasn't licked the problem yet, according to critics. In December, Stephen Piantadosi, a UC Berkeley professor of psychology and neuroscience who heads up its computation and language lab, tweeted out a screenshot of code ChatGPT wrote when asked to check if somebody would be a good scientist based on race and age that spat out white and male as the only correct answer. And the next one is fighting fraud. In October, MasterCard's CypherTrace Blockchain Intelligence Division announced CryptoSecure, an AI tool that provides banks with a risk score, allowing them to identify potentially fraudulent crypto purchases from exchanges and other virtual asset service providers, or VASP. In a July release, it said that the AI-powered tool for providing onboarding anti-money laundering checks to payments networks would actually allow them to spot wallets with connections to illicit activities, bad actors, sanctions, or patterns of suspicious activities activities, as well as detect transaction fraud in real time. As far back as 2018, machine learning AI was being used to spot crypto pump and dump schemes with a fairly good degree of accuracy, the MIT Technology Review reported. While calling it a path to undermining or preventing these scams, the article noted, it is likely to be just one move in the traditional cat and mouse game that security experts employ against malicious actors. Presumably, the organizers of these scams will quickly change their activities to make them harder for this kind of machine learning algorithm to spot and so on, making the metaverse more real. Character GBT, launched on the Polygon blockchain by Athea AI, allows users to briefly describe a character in natural language and then generates an avatar that can respond and converse as the character in seconds. These can be fanciful, like a grisly prosecutor who pans for gold in the West, or practical, such as a business representative for a sporting goods store. A mashup of chatbot and generative art AIs like Dolly characters with unique personalities, identities, traits, voices, and bodies are then minted on NFTs and can be used, stored in a digital wallet, or traded as a collectible, the company said in a video. These can serve as AI companions, digital guides, or NPCs in games, Alethea AI COO Ahmad Matenya said in a blog post. We are now enabling these users to not just create characters for the purposes of training AI engines, but to own them as AI collectibles in their wallets. The flip side of these designer avatars is probably the deepfake AI-generated images and videos that are startlingly convincingly real. A good example of this are the deep Tom Cruise videos posted by AI firm Metaphysic, which is really just an art slash awareness project. And actually this company reached out to Tom Cruise's representatives with a preemptive don't sue us actually before they posted, and he didn't object. While they can be entertaining, the ability of deepfakes to make essentially anyone do anything has already seen plenty of misuse, from Elon Musk pitching crypto scams to revenge porn. Noting that average people don't have access to Tom Cruise's legal firepower, Metaphysics CEO Tom Graham recently told Coindesk that while he recognized the dangers, he wanted to develop it in an ethical, safe, and responsible way, and that self-sovereign digital entities built on blockchains would be a really important step in the processes of empowering individuals to be in control of who they are in this emerging hyper-real metaverse. So let's talk about the good and the bad. 
Of course, there are also areas in which the combination of AI and crypto has the potential to make things worse. Just as AGIs like ChatGPT can write the code for smart contracts, they can be used to write ransomware and malware, which generally require payment in Bitcoin, although how well seems to be a matter of contention among security experts. But more seriously, the ability to write well and hold a conversation can make phishing and other social engineering attacks far more effective. And it's not just your grandparents' savings at risk. The $625 million Ronin network bridge hack didn't happen because of the exploitable flaw in its coding. The passwords and private keys of five of the protocol's nine validators were compromised via social engineering, which is also how the hackers got into comedian and producer Seth Green's digital wallet and stole his bored ape. Security experts have noted that AI-generated phishing emails actually have higher rates of being opened. For example, tricking possible victims to click on them and thus generate attacks, then manually crafted phishing emails. Brian Finch, the co-lead of Pillsbury's Laws, Cybersecurity, Data Protection, and Privacy Practice, told CNBC recently. According to one security researcher, email security awareness training participants have said a main way they detect phishing emails is language-based, misspellings, and grammar errors because many phishers don't have great English skills. If you start looking at ChatGPT and start asking it to write these kinds of emails, it's significantly better at writing phishing lures than real humans are, or at least the humans who are writing them. Chester Winefsky's principal research scientist at security hardware and software vendor Sophus told Tech Target, beware of the hype. That said, not everyone is impressed. When asked to identify an overhyped technology by Politico last week, Shelia Warren, CEO of the Crypto Council for Innovation, chose ChatGPT. While there is no question that ChatGPT is fun as hell and there is a tremendous amount of potential, its real utility is largely limited to programmers for whom it's becoming an invaluable resource, she said. It's a little bit like the early crypto days when people were like, blockchain for everything. Now it's like, you can use ChatGPT for absolutely everything. That's not true yet, and it may never be true. The same hype warning applies to the whole AI space. Venture capital firm General Catalyst investor Nico Bonasantos told Bloomberg on February 1st. He said, a sea of companies are adding AI to their taglines and pitch decks, seeking to bask in the reflected glow of the hype cycle, pointing to a recent news release that touted the value of AI in a campaign to promote shoes. He noted that jumping on the bandwagon is likely to grow as it's working. BuzzFeed, where he once worked, saw its stock soar more than 300% last week on the news that it would use artificial intelligence to generate some of its content. He also added last year a ton of companies that couldn't raise were baptizing themselves as Web3 crypto companies. The same is happening now with AI. Let me know what you guys have to think about this in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, that's all we have for this video. We'll see you in the next one.